hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my october reset and i cannot believe it it is the month of october like where has the time gone we have three more months to end out the year 2022 and that is just wild like i cannot believe that we're entering the last quarter of 2022 but here we are so if you're new here hi welcome my name is Linnell. i'm a general practitioner working full-time at a private hospital my husband is also a general practitioner he works full-time and then some at a public hospital and we have two little girls a one-year-old and a two-year-old so as you can imagine our plates are full and so this little routine it really is necessary for us if we want a life that is intentional if we want to have a life that's not full of chaos and very hectic this little routine allows us to look back at the previous month figure out what worked what did not work look forward to the upcoming months really regulate our schedules make sure that we are having time for each other time for the girls and not be pulled away by work constantly so let's get into it um first of all we're gonna take a look at our work schedule i just need to plug in the days that i am working so i work in the er and we do 12 hour shifts 8 a.m to 8 p.m or 8 p.m to 8 a.m we usually try our hardest not to coincide so my husband he works monday to friday but he also does 24 hour shifts twice sometimes three times during the week so it's very important that we have an idea what our schedules look like so that if we have to find childcare, we do that or if we need to shift our schedule around we do that so that is very important that we're gonna do that first we're gonna look into our schedules we're only gonna look into finances as well i need to pay some bills for the upcoming month we're also going to look at goals and set some goals for the new month of october so Welcome, follow along. I hope this inspires you to really be intentional. First, we're gonna go through the goal planner. We are going to do a little bit of review. And we're gonna look at the month of September. And I think it's always a good idea to look back at the previous month. It gives you an opportunity to see what was done well, what needs to be worked on, what needs to be continued. So for the month of September, what I read on this month, currently I am, oh, I finished Grumpy Mom Takes a Holiday. Read it again this time around and it was very wonderful. I appreciated it. And currently I am reading How to Really Love Your Child. This is a good like a really good book i would definitely recommend it if you have kids if you plan on having kids i think this is a good book goals that are growing well so consistent quiet time has been going very well and i'm looking forward to continuing that i'm choosing grace over guilt for having inconsistent workout times because my kids were out of school for um, a week and a half baby because they had hand foot and mouth which has been going around but um so whenever they're out of school i rearrange my schedule so that i can stay ho stay home with them which is great but it makes it very difficult for me to get to the gym so instead of feeling guilty that i missed an entire week and a half of workouts i am just gonna have grace about it favorite memories from this month definitely launching my youtube channel that was something that i've always wanted to do but i was too chicken to do it and i finally did it this month and i'm very happy about that i'm saying no to procrastination i find lately i've been going on tiktok and i spend an hour there without even knowing it and that's ridiculous because I have too many things to do to be spending an hour on TikTok. Things that I'm saying yes to. I am saying yes to consistency. I am working on being consistent in quite a few things. So I'm saying yes to that. And I'm saying yes to bravery because it is very... <laughs> need a lot of bravery to have a youtube channel and i'm very glad that i'm taking that step so i'm saying yes to that as well 
next come what you call the tending list and it will be for the month of October. The way Cultivate What Matters works is that at the beginning of the year, you go through a process of the book where you try to figure out what's important to you, what are the goals that you want to achieve, and you set out your goals for the month, your goals for the year, sorry. And what you do is you take the last few months of the year, you figure out what goals that you want to set for the new year, and then every, every new month you have what they call a tending list and that tending list is this here which allows you to accomplish your goals because what i found is that you set your goals but then sometimes it's vague sometimes you have no idea how to go about achieving it and with the tending list it allows you to break down each of your goals into monthly action items weekly action items and daily action items it's it's been a game changer for me really so for example one of my goals is to so these are the goals that i set one of the goals i have is to know and love god and his word so for me um a monthly item that i had last month was to fast and pray once a month which i did not do sadly but then one of the daily actions i have is to do my quiet time which i was pretty consistent with this month so when you break down the goals into something that you can do monthly something that you can do weekly something that you can do daily to help accomplish that goal it breaks it down into smaller steps and it makes it very much actionable so the first time i used this planner i was i did not do it very well and why is because the tennis i used to keep it in this book and so if i did not open this book i would forget about it and so the month would pass and i would not accomplish any of my goals because i didn't have something to remind me of those small steps that i needed to take to accomplish it but since i've detached the tenderness and placed it inside of my planner it has worked wonders for me i go through my goals and i think about um uh, what are the the monthly things, the weekly things, and the daily things that I can do to help me achieve them. Another goal I have is to help my family know and love God and His Word. So, one of the things that I do for that, a daily action item, is we have family time. And family time is basically where we read the Bible together and we discuss it. Basically, Ibrahim and I, of course, the girls are too young, but we just want to do this habit, not necessarily because we think that the girls are taking much from it, but more because we want to be consistent and disciplined in ourselves to do it. Because we don't want to wait until they're like six, seven to start it and then we have difficulty being disciplined and consistent. We want to do it now when they're one and two so that as parents, we are consistent and we are disciplined to do it every day. And so by the time they're old enough to actually participate, it's not going to be much of an issue. So that is something that I have here. Another goal I have, for example, is to take care of myself, body, mind, and soul. A monthly action item for me, for example, would be to read a book or two every month, which I have been doing very well. I shared with you the two books that I read this month. Books that I have for this month are The Meaning of Marriage. I find that I've been reading a lot of parenting books and I... I knew I need to make sure that I'm investing into my marriage as well. So I picked out a book for the month about marriage, which is the meaning of marriage. And I picked out Prayer, Finding the Charge True Home, which is also another book that I found on reading. So just a tip for you guys, if you want to get into reading, but you're finding it very difficult, what has worked really, really well for me is reading making a goal to read two chapters a day most books have a very short chapters which are very manageable so, so let's see how my goal is chapter one. chapter one is this thing which quite frankly is not a lot of pages so the goal that i usually set for myself is to read two chapters throughout the day so i read one chapter in the morning which honestly this takes like maybe 10 minutes uh, maybe less depending on how fast you read and then I read another chapter at night usually before I go to bed so um, in the morning when I have some time instead of pulling out my phone to scroll Instagram or TikTok I will probably read a 
chapter of a book and then at night just before i go to bed i will read another chapter it doesn't always happen that i read two chapters but most days i read one and i find that reading one chapter a day can get you through a book a lot faster than you think okay taking care of my investing in my marriage is another goal that i have so one of my monthly items is gonna be date night um, we try to do a monthly date night a weekly action item that we do is that we meet once a month so every sunday whenever our schedules allow because sometimes i'm working sometimes he's working we go through a weekly prayer a weekly marriage journal which i will link for you in the description box it is from felicia mason heimer over on instagram and it's great it allows us to really connect we talk about our plans for the upcoming week talk about the plans for the week any discipline issues we have with the girls we talk about any um, issues that we may have with each other any um, conflict that we haven't resolved yet we talk about any um, schedule things that we need to arrange we talk a bit about our finances and then we also talk about our spiritual lives and how we can encourage each other in that regard so it's a really good practice i would recommend it to each and every couple an opportunity to meet once a week because you know with how busy life is sometimes things slip and it can build up so it's an opportunity to meet and talk and discuss we usually end up chatting for hours of reading in my house i want my girls to grow up loving books and loving to read and one of the ways to do that is to expose them to books and i find that if i don't have it on my to-do list it does not get done so i these things seem very silly but it's the little things you know that add up and when you look back you realize hey what is important to me is getting done so reading to my girls seems like something that should not be on a list but believe it or not with the chaoticness of life wanting to keep the house clean getting meals done those are the little things that slip through but for me if i have it written down in my google planner and if i have it written down on my to-do list then it gets done and that is important at the end of the day so this is going to go into my planner because if it does not go in my planner it does not get done now we are going to do something exciting we're gonna go through my let's do the monthly schedule first okay because that is actually very important let's do the monthly schedule extremely important to me it is a prayer journal it is by Valerie Peter and I used I've been using this for the last two and a half years and it has made the world of a difference in my prayer life so I'm gonna flip to an empty page I'll show you so this one is undecent it's a six month planner um, you fill in each of the sections there's adoration scripture followed by a challenge so let's say I want to pray while washing dishes every day. And then there's a prayer for the nation, my community, my church, my loves, my family, friends, salvation heavy, personal, big goals. And then you can fill in three separate parts, three separate sections. I usually do parenting, I do marriage, I do career here sometimes. Some months there are other things that need prayer. So it really depends how I fill this out. There's a section where you can document all the ways that God answered your prayers throughout the month. And then there's a section where God speaks where you can document whatever you believe God is speaking to you about. And then it's followed by 29 pages of 
notes pages where you can pray and i try to do this every day i pray once a day so the reason why i love this planet is because usually when i pray i pray about my husband i pray about my kids and i forget and myself and then i forget about everything else but this allows me to broaden the scope of my prayer so i pray for my family my husband's family i pray for the world and nation so if anything is going on like if there is a war going on or a hurricane approaching or something i pray about that i pray for the people in my community my neighbors my church if i know there's a specific issue at church i'm praying for that as well and what i do is i give every page a particular day so for example this page here is gonna be monday So Monday, I'm going to pray for everything here. Tuesday, I'm going to pray for everything I wrote down here. On Wednesday, I'm going to pray for everything I wrote down here. Thursday, I pray for this page. On Friday, I pray for everything on this page. On Saturday and Sunday, if I... If sometimes I don't do any of those or sometimes I just repeat one of those prayers or sometimes all I do is one of the written prayers. So this has helped me be consistent with my prayer life and I have been able to see the goodness of God throughout the years and the months. I flip back quite often and I see prayers that I prayed for that he has answered and I really love this journal. For some, it, it is an investment, but for me, it is a definite worthwhile investment. Worthwhile investment. I ordered the upcoming year already, and I'm so excited to get it. It is a pretty good blue. I ordered one for next year, and I can't wait to get it. So I'm gonna fill this out now. Um, all the things that I'm going to be praying for for the month of October. Alright guys, this was my monthly reset with the routine that I just did. I feel pretty much set and ready for the, the upcoming month. Now what I'm going to do and what I usually do is every week end, maybe like a Sunday evening, I plan the week. So based on all of the goals that I want to accomplish for the month and what our schedule looks like, then I fill in the week and that is going to help me stay organized for the upcoming time and make sure that my time is being spent wisely that I'm being I'm splitting myself well between my husband my work my kids etc so this has been my monthly reset I really hope you guys gleaned some insight 
and I hope that you were inspired to take in some things that may work for you and help improve on your organization or your planning skills to help a smoother transition throughout the month. This really works well for me. Um, it took me a while to find something and to get into the groove of it and make sure that it worked well, but this works very well. So I have my month pretty much set out and I use my monthly planning to go over my weekly planning and at the end of the year I really feel like I would have accomplished the goals that I had set out to accomplish because they were broken down by monthly, weekly and daily items. So maybe in the next video I will probably do what I do on a Sunday night so you can see how I structure my week and how I use my monthly plan and my goals to set up the week so that I know that I'm not spreading myself thin and I'm actually accomplishing the things that I want to accomplish. So thank you very much for watching. This was my monthly reset. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found something of encouragement or inspiration for you. So if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you are interested in seeing more monthly resets or Sunday evening reset, which I plan on doing eventually, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.